Well, it's uh, 13.32 uh, on a uh, Tuesday afternoon, and it's uh, one hour and 32 minutes past noon for anybody that cares. It says on my watch it's 23 degrees um, here, but I suspect it's a little bit more. I was going to look for my uh, phone to uh, determine what the correct uh, temperature and humidity is, but then I realised it's my phone's there. But while I'm still on my lunch hour, it's time to re re review an old favourite. She's one of my favourite girls from the past. She also uh, features on my Beer Hall of Fame. So this is it. Her name is Amanda. You've probably heard of her or tried her in the past. Um, it's one of Yuli, Yuli's Brews finest. Um, comes in an ABV 6.7%, 375 ml can. Uh, it's an American style IPA layered with a range of mandarin flavor from a carefully selected malt and hop bill and a whole lot of cold pressed mandarins. The result is a super drink, drinkable fruit driven IPA with an assertive mandarin peel bitterness and dry mouthfeel. The perfect seasonal IPA making use of one of our favorite citrus fruits. Pairs well with a Korean barbecue. Well, as a non-meat eater, unfortunately, I don't pair uh, well uh, with a Korean barbecue. Um, I'm going to just check on something. Just hold it there. My memory, I might be getting old, but my memory's not too bad. Because one thing that's missing on this particular can, which is the new can. And this is one that I bought um, a few months ago. And on here, it does mention it was that the cold pressed mandarins were blended with a concoction of orange peel liqueur in brackets Cointreau. So they've changed their recipe a little bit. They don't have the Cointreau in there. So, the ABV is nonetheless, nonetheless the same. Uh, the IBU was mentioned on here, coming in at 50. Um, it's not mentioned on here. So they've changed their packaging a little bit, just a little bit. So let's have a try. So, I mean, I rate this beer. This is a beautiful drop. So, oof, fucking huge crack there. Get it out of the can into this glass. I don't anticipate it's going to be anything really different to what it was before. Hazy, amber, two finger head, nice tight creamy white head. Um, Yuli's got a different top on, if you can see that. I don't know whether you can or not. So they have changed their, their packaging a little bit. She still looks pretty good. Let's have a sniff. It smells good. It smells good. It's bloody hot. Let's drink. Well, wow. it's not the same beer. It is not the same beer. It's rather disappointing. Hops on the new one, Nelson, Savon, Citra, Enigma. On the old one, Mandarin, Bavaria, Nelson Savon, Pacifica, and Pacific Jade. They've changed the hops. And they've changed one of the malts as well. This is not the same beer. 
it's not as good. Not by any means. <laughs> what a disappointment. I bought this one from Liquorland uh, not 20 minutes ago on the basis that I love Amanda. But this is not the same beer. Oh, wow. Very, very disappointing. Very disappointing. It's a totally different beer. That's the first time I've ever experienced anything like this, you know? Wow. Wow. That is a big disappointment. And I might even let the brewery know as well. Um, that is not good. If you can get her with the purple top on, buy it. If you can part, buy her with this grainy pink top on, go past it. Wow. What a turn up for the books. What a disappointment. I've got three cans more in the fridge now that, you know, I think I'll just have a chur. Totally different beer. Very disappointing. Oh, well, might as well drink this and then get back to work. Mm, oh, good. Bye.